Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry. All right, and in this episode, I'm going to be looking at the uses of radio isotopes. Okay, I'm going to be looking at the uses of what of radio isotopes. Okay, so I'll be talking about radioactivity. I want to see what the uses. Okay, that will draw. All right, from what from radioactivity, okay. And do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the O3 School Jump app. So do not forget to like this video, do not forget to subscribe to this channel, and do not forget to keep sharing. All right, so let us see a question uh, concerning this. So questions on this come out a lot, so you do not play with this at all. Okay, they say, How does uh, this is a 2023 question number eight? 2023 question number eight, it says, How does radioactivity contribute to the preservation of food? Okay, how does radioactivity contribute to the preservation of food? A, it helps to cook food at high temperatures for preservation. B, it is used to create artificial preservatives for longer shelf life. C, it helps to sterilize food products to prevent spoilage and contamination. D, it contributes to the development of genetically modified foods. Okay, so now I'm going to come back to this question, all right, and then of course we will watch, uh, uh, would answer this question and many more questions on this application. So do not forget to go to uh, Play Store immediately, download the application, and start practicing your way to success. It asks all you need to succeed, ask all the past questions, all right, it asks questions, start feature. There's a what? Also a classroom that contains lecture notes structured according to the JAM syllabus. There's also the UTME mock challenge. Every Saturday you participate with your mates, you win prizes, all right, and then you get used to JAM past and likely exam questions you see your score release your results this every saturday it builds your confidence toward the main exam you know go come they fear when they say jam don't release result which you no good you go wrong go check them all right please let me wear my glasses and let me join you in a bit okay so now i'm going to be looking at what are the uses of what of radio isotopes the uses of radio isotopes okay so now radio isotopes find what uses in what in many what industries okay you find in many what feeds okay in medicine in agriculture all right mass spectrometry dating techniques tracing techniques and the like so i want to begin with uh, the usefulness in what in medicine let's begin with what with medicine okay so now Number one, cobalt 60 and gamma rays are used to treat cancerous cells. Okay, cobalt 60 and gamma rays are used to, to destroy cancerous cells. Number one, cobalt 60 and gamma rays. Okay, or gamma radiation are used to destroy cancerous cells. Okay, so please take note of that. Okay, so cobalt 60 and gamma rays or gamma radiations are used to destroy cancerous cells. Okay, also we have iodine, which is used to treat thyroid cancer. Number two, iodine, sorry, iodine. Okay, that is radioactive iodine. Radioactive iodine is used, used to treat thyroid cancer okay they used to, to treat what thyroid cancer please take note okay so radioactive iodine is used to treat thyroid cancer Radio, radioactive iodine is used to treat what thyroid cancer then also we also have phosphorus 12 which is used to treat leukemia phosphorus 12 number three phosphorus 12 this one is used to, uh, to treat, to treat what? Leukemia. Leukemia. Okay? All right? So that is what phosphorus, what? 12. Used to what? To treat what? Leukemia. All right? So please take note of that. They also have what? Uh, nuclear batteries. Number four. Nuclear batteries. These nuclear batteries, they are used as what? As artificial pacemakers. Okay? They are used as what? Artificial pacemakers i'm going to explain in a minute pacemakers in the heart of patients in the heart of patients 
Okay, these nuclear batteries that are what implanted into the heart of patients. Okay, and then it helps what the patient to us uh, or help what diagnosis or help the doctor to what to calculate the what heart rate and what and do some simulation. So it's like a it's like wire that is connected to the what to the heart. Okay, so these nuclear batteries find application in what in what artificial pacemakers. Okay, in the heart of patient to check what their heart rate and simulations. Okay, so these are the applications of what of medicine. They Maybe more, all right. But these are the, some of the applications of medicine. Sorry, of what radioisotopes in medicine. Okay, so please, I expect you to commit them to heart, all right. Cobacity and gamma radiations are used to destroy cancerous cells. Iodine, okay, uh, with that is radioactive iodine is used to treat what thyroid cancer. Why phosphorus 12 is used to treat leukemia, and then of course, nuclear batteries uh, that are used as artificial pacemakers in the heart of patients. Okay, now let's just look at another field. Let's look at agriculture. Okay, agriculture. Now, radioisotopes are also useful in what? In the agriculture world field. Okay, radioisotopes, all right, they have what? They are radiations. They are, their radiations are used to induce. The, the radiations are used to induce and produce better desired species. Okay? The radiations are used to induce better desired species in agriculture now. In agriculture. Okay? So, number one. Okay, we say that there are radiations. Okay, that's what? Radioisotope. The radiations are used to induce better desired what species of plants. Okay? So, uh, that is one use. Okay? There are radiations. Their radiations are used to induce mutation and produce better desired species. Okay, so uh, that is what one application of what of uh, radioisotopes in the agricultural world feed. Okay, the radiations from radioisotopes are what used to induce mutation. Okay, and what to produce what better desired what species. Okay, so please take note of that. Likewise, radiations are used to render male species. Of insect vectors and pests, of insect vectors and pests, okay, sterile, so that their population, their population is reduced, is reduced. Okay, you know that what what amps what uh, product productivity of other plants. Okay, okay, a hard plant produce is what is pests. Okay, and insect vectors. All right, they can destroy plants. Okay, so what to do is that what use radiation to what to render male species. Okay, of what of those insect vectors and pests, so that what to render they were sterile, so that what their population is what is reduced, so that they will not be able to what to reproduce. Okay, because the more they produce, the more the problem. So if we if we render the male species of sterile okay then of course their population would what would be reduced because reproduction will what will be cut short okay so that's another what application of what of a uh, of a uh, 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 radioisotopes in agriculture okay so now let's quickly look at the industry the industry okay the applications of what radioisotopes in the industry all right okay so cobalt system um is used to trace any faults it's used to trace any faults in words, like welding, okay, in words. Cobalt system is used to, to, to trace what any faults, okay, in words, all right? So let us see in the industry. Okay, number one, they are used, cobalt system, rather, cobalt system is used, cobalt system is used to trace Thoughts in welds and castings. Okay, please, you must take note of that. Cobalt system is also very useful to trace what thoughts in welds, in welding, okay? Where, where, where what, uh, parts of the board have been welded together, okay? It's used to trace faults in what? In welds and in what? And in castings. castings. Also, it's also used to, what, to check for leakages, okay? It's also used, number two, it's also used to check 
to check for what leakages all right it is all to check for what for leakages this to check for what for leakages and thickness and thickness let me add that and thickness okay it is to check for leakages and thickness okay so please that is what in the industry cobacist is to trace faults in webs and castings and then they are used to what to determine uh and check leakages and thickness they also used to control the filling of tins and parts they are used to control the filling of tins and packs okay so these are what where the areas where by radio also to find application in what in the industry cobacity to trace faults this is very very important cobacity to trace faults in what in words and what and castings to check for leakages and water thicknesses, and they are also used to control the filling of tins and packs. Okay, so likewise, we now go to another field in sterilization. Okay, sterilization, sterilization, sterilization. Okay, so another use, okay, another use of radioisotopes is in what is in sterilization. Okay, sterilize. Okay, for example, surgical instruments. Okay, surgical instruments that may contain what contaminants. Okay, so we can use what uh, 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 use radioisotopes. What to what to make what to sterilize what those what equipment. Okay, so that what contaminants will be removed from them. Okay, so in sterilization, surgical instrument can be made sterile. So surgical instruments instruments can be made sterile and free and free from contaminants by passing gamma radiations through them. Okay, so this one is also what in medicine, okay, in the field of medicine. So surgical instrument can be made sterile, okay, can make clean, all right, and free from contaminants by passing gamma radiation what, through them, okay? So the radioisotopes also find what application in what? In sterilization of what? Of surgical instruments. Then, of course, we now have tracing techniques, tracing techniques, all right, tracing techniques, all right, and of course, in medicine also, in medicine, tracing helps to what? To identify faults and abnormalities in organs, okay? To identify faults and abnormalities in organs, okay? So let us see tracing techniques, tracing techniques, tracing techniques. In medicine, medicine, tracing helps. To see any faults and abnormalities in organs and abnormalities in organs. Okay, so in medicine, tracing helps to see any faults and abnormalities in organ. Okay, so instead of maybe a particular organ, okay, that is what my function in, all right. So uh instead of you to what to tear the person open and then be looking for where the problem is coming from, you can just simply use tracing techniques, okay, and then it will identify the particular organ that has the fault, okay, and then what you to what you, you can easily what operate on it. Okay, so it's as simple as ABC. So in medicine, tracing helps to what to see any fault and abnormalities in what in organs and what and this of course will what in the long run what help what diagnosis okay so you can say that what and this helps and this helps diagnosis okay and this helps what diagnosis okay so it helps the doctor to easily what uh identify what the faulty organ and be able to what to operate on it without wasting too much time okay also the chem the pathway of chemical reactions may be studied Using radio isotope, the pathway, the pathway of chemical reactions can be studied using radio isotopes. Radio isotopes. 
okay the pathway of chemical reactions okay all right the reaction the pathway the reaction pathway okay that reactants is what to turn to our product okay it can be studied using what radio what isotopes all right so that is also another uh application of what of a radio isotope what in tracing okay so that's a tracing what technique okay then likewise we we'll now look at what dating techniques dating techniques dating what techniques okay all right the ages of specimens the ages of specimens rocks and even the earth can be estimated okay using what dating what techniques okay so what it does now is estimates okay and finds what uh each which of the specimens that have what longer half lives okay we're going to talk about half life soon half life and decay constant okay so the uh dating techniques okay you can easily make us want to know like i can tell you that if you bring a bone now they can tell you that this bone has lived so so and so yes okay that is what what dating technique done it makes us want to know the age okay how long something what has lived okay so it's as simple as abc if you see a rock now we can use dating technique to, to tell to estimate to estimate how long what that what rock okay as what has been what existing okay or well, has been in existence okay so it's as simple as abc so dating what techniques okay the ages of specimens and say the ages the ages of specimens rocks and even the earth can be estimating can be estimated rather can be estimated by determining the amount in these specimens in these specimens of certain isotopes okay that have long half lives okay please take note of that long half lives all right so it's as simple as ABC. so the ages of specimens can be determined okay what to do what by it can all can be estimated by determining the amount the amount in the specimens of certain isotopes there are some isotopes that we want to we know what how long they are what those isotopes have existed so if you see what those isotopes okay in those what uh in those specimens we can use what to estimate or determine what the what the, the the length of life or how long that's what specimens what has lived okay so dating techniques is what very 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 useful and of course the common uh radio isotope that is used the common radio isotope that is used for dating is what is carbon 14 okay please take note carbon 14 this would be an exam question it's an exam it's not it's not should be this is an exam question okay so carbon 14 is used for what for dating what techniques okay so now let's go to mass spectrometry mass spectrometry okay uh, mass spectrometry will enable what uh, chemists okay mass spectrometry will enable chemists to measure the mass of various what isotopes okay to measure the mass of various isotope mass spectro spectrometry okay this will enable what chemists to measure what the mass of what of various what isotopes present in a given sample of any compound this enables enables chemists chemists okay to measure the mass of the various isotopes of the various isotopes present in a given sample of elements okay so and what as well as what as well as they are relative as well as their relative abundances okay so say so what this enable chemist to measure the mass of what various isotopes present in a given sample of elements okay so for example now we say hydrogen has three isotopes okay the proton the deuterium okay and what and the tritium okay so uh uh mass spectrometry what we enable chemists okay to measure the mass the mass of the various isotopes this one now has a what a mass of what of one okay mass number one year mass number two year mass number how did they determine it's mass spectrometry that enables what chemists what to measure what this mass is okay present in a given sample of elements as well as their relative what 
abundances. Okay, so uh, that is that. But at least are the uses of what of radio isotopes. So what is left now for us to go to the what to the app and what answer some questions to cement our understanding. This is a two thousand and five question number thirty four. They say uh, one treatment of cancer, two detection of leakages in water mains, three detection of the ages of ancient tools, four preparation of what of drugs. Okay, they say. Which combination of this above or of the above refers to the uses of radioisotopes? Okay, which of the following refers to the uses of what radioisotopes? Okay, as you can see, radioisotopes will find application in the treatment of cancer. Okay, all right. Then two, detection of leakages in what in water means. Okay, we talked about what cobalt sixty. Okay, then uh, detection of the ages of ancient two. Talk about what carbon dating. Okay, then preparation of drugs is very very useful also in the preparation of what of some what radio pharmaceutical. Okay, in preparation of what of drugs. So the correct answer there will be, will be option D, one, two, three, and four. They are all uses of what of uh, of radio isotopes. Now in the same number, 2022 number eight. 2022 number eight says, which of the following is not an importance of radioactivity? It's not an importance of radioactivity. A, they say irradiation. Okay, B, they say carbon dating. C, they say smoke detector. D, they say cancer transmission. Cancer transmission cannot be what a what a use. It's not an importance of what of radioactivity. All right. Of course, it's used in what in, in radiation. All right. Then also uh, B in carbon dating. C smoke detector. Okay, it, it smoke detectors use the ionization property of what of radioactivity. Okay, so they are also used, but cancer transmission is not part of them. All right. So these are many more questions on the old school jump app. So please ensure what we go to the Play Store immediately. Download the app. Start activating and what start practicing immediately. All right, so I'll see you in the next class. Thank you for watching.